So we got a safe amount of moisture to where if we light this up, it's not gonna burn the whole countryside down. But I wonder if we got too much, you know, it started out rain, we got probably a half inch or more of rain. So this wood might be a little too wet now. I got a flamethrower full of fun juice and give it a little squirt and see if it lights up. Good, if it doesn't, we'll try again. Try to find a decently dry spot, that won't be a waste of time. I think I see some dry wood down in there. Yeah, I think it's just a bit too wet. might get something there you know all that tight knit wood keep that stuff on the bottom dry yeah Woo! we got fire oh yeah we got fire it's a hot one well the fire took off and it did its job so I come in the shop this morning and I see little scours from a calf but then I'm like well, that don't make no sense. And up top, little residue. We got a hydraulic leak. There's two hoses that come through here and run to the motor that runs the auger. And even back in here, got lube, got some drips. So yeah, we got a hydraulic fluid leak going on. Didn't notice it yesterday, but coming in the shop, yeah, it was running out of there. So we're gonna clean this up, take this shield off, See if it's just a connection from those hoses coming into this motor. The best part is, we got these new lights in here so I can actually see what I'm doing. So that bottom fitting is wet, but so is the top one. So I'm guessing, and I can actually see some threads on that top. Hopefully it just came a little loose and I can stick a wrench in from here and tighten her up. Mo there's some moisture in there. Wouldn't that be awesome? If it was just a quick little, just mm, throw a wrench on it. That is loose as a goose. Can't really get in there. Good, I got about one degree. I might have to take this shield off to really get at it. Yeah, we can get that a lot better now. Brady tidy. Lefty Lucy. Bottom got tightened a little bit too. Looks like the feed truck's just showing up. I'll help him get unloaded. Might get stuck back there. It's pretty soupy.
Well, there it is. That's what we throw in with the mix every morning. We got it. I think we got it. Forgot to show you guys the new fans we put in here in the calving barn. Just get better air movement. You know, all that heat is gonna go up and we have that insulated so it holds in the heat. Well now with these fans, we can blow that heat back down. I haven't really tried them yet. Let's see if they spin back. Dad found these at Menards for like 65 bucks a piece. That one definitely has a bit of a wobble to it. We'll have to wait and see during calving how much it helps. You know, on those cold nights, we have the in-floor heat on, and of course a lot of that rises. Well, then we also have that diesel burner, that Sunfire heater. You know, those propane and diesel burners. You put your hand right above where the heat comes out, and that stuff just goes straight up. So I think they can definitely help, especially when we have that big diesel burner going. Would you, Woo! Would you like a box of food? Yeah. There you go. I'd even take two boxes of food. Here you go. That one There's not much food left. Give them much. chocolate milk. I did have chocolate milk. That sounds divine. It was delorious, delorious. It was delicious, gloriously <laughs> delicious. All right. Delorious. <laughs> See if we can get these tubs in the back. Keep coming. Oh! Keep coming. Oh, that's good. Not a good time to do the song of the day, but do you like pie, Cole? I dabble. You dabble in pie? I do. How do you dabble? Like on that movie, American Pie? Is that how you dabble in pie? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Okay, well, a lot of people do. Anyway, the song of the day is American Pie, and it's by Don McLean. I'm not smart enough to figure that out.
I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Can you fly, Cole? No. Okay. Got some chickens. So these feed lots aren't in the greatest condition. One thing nice about our bullpen though, there used to be a barn right here, so we got a big pad of concrete. So I'm cleaning up that wet manure. I'm just gonna throw it in here. Cause I mean, that's obviously a mess anyhow. So might as well put the other mess in the bad mess. Then we'll bring some bedding in here, put it right on this concrete after I move all this manure. That'll be a lot nicer for them. Not much else to do today. You know, it's so muddy, you can't fix anything in the feedlots. But we do have a nice welding project coming up. I got this hydraulic motor, which is gonna be a pivotal part of that. We gotta go get a big one inch shaft. Go get some iron. Well, this don't look good. Well, this here is what we picked up. A big chunk of channel iron solid rod with a key slot and then connected to that long rod will be this coupler and this hydraulic motor we'll just have to wait till uh next week and see what we're building picked up a filter for our hydraulic pump this is our hydraulic pump that runs the chute down there and we have not yet changed the filter on it May or may not need it, but we're gonna get her done. Righty tighty lefty loosey. I have a feeling that's gonna be a mess. Just gotta power through it. Oh big mess. Let a fire fix some stuff and we're prepared for the next project. It involves some bearings, some hydraulics. Should be a fun thing and once it's done, might be able to help us out when we get some big snowstorms. For a short amount of time through January, that's kind of our slow time of the year. We're gonna be probably at two videos a week for just a couple weeks and then in February, 
Cavin starts, we'll get right back up to three a week. Be around me one less day a week. As you know, 11 months out of the year, we're posting Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Maybe for a couple weeks in January, we'll just be Wednesdays and Saturdays. Thanks for watching, everybody. Love to see you next time. Have a good one. Oh, you got it. Good job. Woo!